all this again. This thing's quite fun, isn't it? Still not completely happy with this face, you know. I think it stands out too much and uh, I want to take it back more. Even if she should have that face, I'm not sure. Um, you just soften it, I think, back into the light. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't want to spoil it. I might finish up repainting it totally at this rate, but let's see just what we can do by softening it just that little bit more again and see if it's possible. Yes, it's going to be a difficult one, this. I just think you've got it done. In fact, it was <coughs> quite fun when it was just left loose. Um, nothing a little more is possibly something isn't right. You've got to work on it until you feel happy about it. No good if it doesn't uh, sit right, quite right, even though it's a struggle at times. Just these little things that can make such a difference. So it is a lot softer and less obtrusive now, but whether that's a real improvement is maybe with a touch more blue just down around these areas <coughs> than I have, but I haven't quite picked out yet, that might be another reason. These lovely blues against this, which I couldn't see in the dark last night, and might be why I missed them. Face keeps haunting me and bringing me back, and I don't want to make too much of it. Just a little bit of blue into that. Just try and bring out that wrist a bit more. Now I'm feeling better about it. I think it's about there actually now. Yes, I think that will do it. Well, that was quite a struggle to get that finished off there. I'm much happier with it now. Let's uh, move on to the next one before I get too bogged down with this. Given some flowers at Christmas from school. I rather like the look of that. I might have a quick go at painting that here. Well, I'm going to go with these flowers. Um, what view? I just want to be around here slightly. I'm thinking back on the Susan Valadon flowers that I painted not long ago. They're rather nice. Now I've had to get this fitting into here as a composition, and not quite as a normal one. I want the chair as well, so let's have a look. Uh, three quarters across. Let's have a go at that and see what we've got. Um, we've got the window coming here, which is quite nice. There. Yeah, that's a nice composition. Let's have some fun. Get straight in with these colours here. see them that well. Always when we start a painting the canvas seems very white so that takes a bit of getting used to. Slightly warmer, a bit of cerulean now, it was turquoise just now. Could go for some cerulean there and putting that down. And then I want that turquoise again which is slightly yellower. of the moment things we've been painting all of these cafe scenes and now it's time to just do something a little different and we'll get that beautiful green going behind that soft 
yellow green happening back here. That happens above here, that's going to be here. It's right up here somewhere. And these coming down here. I wanted that to come right up there. It's not one, two, three. Quite what I was after. Where the green is coming out here. I do like to do something different like this occasionally. It really gets me going and allows me to push myself a bit more in another direction. Otherwise, you get a bit complacent just painting the same old things. Losing where I am slightly here at the minute. So, something very different for me to do, isn't it? As I don't normally, so let's see what we can do. Now oh, that uh, chair. Chair. There's a bit of perspective going on here because this chair comes off here, it makes it look a bit weird, but it's in fact not far out. I like to tell myself. Yes, everybody should have a go at a bit of chair painting at some stage, I reckon. <laughs> Alright, what have we got here now then? Let's uh, try to get these colours. Well, I guess another here now. Okay, let's start getting some flowers blocked in so that we can <coughs> work down in brushes, eh? Let's have some lovely magenta in there to start with. I just, oh, I would have done if that uh, hadn't been messed up with another colour. Don't, don't worry though, because I can put brighter colour over it in a minute. That's not uh, a big deal. So that comes up to here, that flower comes right out there. And up behind here and around there. Nothing like slapping some paint on and enjoying again, is there? <coughs> Those darts come right the way down through here. A bit more blue in there later, I think. But those leaves should come right out here. And these ones too are going to come right out down here. Clutter. Right, I need to get uh, these lighter pinks in here, so let's just take those and whack on some very light, a little touch of pink into that. And then behind here I want to make a blue-grey, so let's, because I want to put light over that later and put the white over this. Through here, and then we have lost at last our white canvas, which means I can actually start to get some colour on. I think, talking of lighter colours, I need to um, establish these very light colours on top of the on top of the uh, railings, window window rails here, just to start to bring those in. And suddenly, hopefully to you, the picture is appearing. Our greens, start to work some of the darker, warmer greens in. So here. Turn around these flowers and then those lovely big leaves start to come out. So let's start to find these leaves now greens that are going on in here too. Got to still reflect these the way that they're spiralling inside there. The 
feeling of this glass jar and the lovely deep Prussian blue to come in here. I didn't bring some purple at least, but I want this blue to work against these colours here. Just couldn't resist painting this, and I'm glad I did. It's just such fun to get away from these other things for a bit too. Rather nice. Let them go subtly under there, let the paint blend in with the undercolour that's still wet, so we're not getting too bright a, a tint there, although some of them will just be a bit lighter as they come across here and catch the light there, look. And very, very light blue. Let's get uh, all mixed up again. Try my brush. Clean paint, so vital. So, some nice pure white, the tiniest touch of turquoise into that. And let's come back to these beautiful light blues in here. Might be a little bit bluer even yet. Find this lovely light that's coming through the window. Not quite me to paint a vase of flowers, but today I can't resist. It's such a horrible, nasty, dull day outside too. Giving rather a nice light. And on this edge too. We can use a bit of cream here later. I'm just using this very light blue at the moment because I want the light of the rather dull grey sky, but it's a blue it's a blue grey all the same out come through here. Right, let's go back and get the colours on these. Got some beautiful colours happening in there. Let's see if we can just pick up on these lovely bright pinks coming out there. Add up yellow into it just to get that warmth. And then much more warm. Even a little bit of cadmium, I think, in a minute just to find these lovely warms. So I'm using a cadmium red now to play against the cool reds. into here now you just start to find these petals amongst these flowers and let's have some cools happening we want to get some deep Prussian blue down amongst these darks here well, nice fresh painting as it is so how much more to do is the question isn't it Work on highlights, constantly work on highlights now. What to do is play a little more with the very light cream. So I'm going to take some white and just a touch of lemon yellow into that to really make some very, very light cream. Got that, I'm not happy with this colour behind now. It's a lot, uh, playing warm against cools all the time. Rough against smooth, light against dark, warm against cool. Now the yellow, which we didn't pick up on, take some cadmium light and just find the centre of these. Slightly green yellows in here, these leaves, and start to find the light greens that are reflecting on these leaves here. Can't just keep putting more light on, we've got to go back on the darks occasionally and just see what we're missing. Can't be far off it now, I don't think. It's um, put them in the right places and play the opposites against one another again. I don't want to fiddle too much because that could be a, a danger now. 
look just carefully at any few more highlights of important colours that are one to another, like here for instance, it's quite golden just there and I just want to see if I can pick that out a little bit more with the It's a conglomeration of colours, that's for sure. And rather than keep putting darks in, uh, lights in, let's put a few, few more darks into here and pick out this. I think that's about as far as I'm going to go with this painting, you know. Well, I think that's got to be it. I'm not going to be fiddling too much and I don't want to be doing that. Right, a small brush and we'll sign it. And uh, let's get on with another cafe scene. Yeah, so there's the scene I've just been painting and, and here's the finished painting. So from that to that, which was very refreshing to have a go at. Well, here we are coming on to number 16 and uh, this time I'm going to start on some of the darker uh, pieces in the heads earlier on. And to mark out where these some of these areas are before I start up with the roller, I'm going to get a bit lost because it's rather more complicated, the smaller composition. You can hear the winter weather's continuing outside. We've got back to a film, but in this case, and uh, I start to mark out.
painting a little, uh, one of the flowers this morning and whacked this off this afternoon. was going to use sponge rollers but it just continued with the brushes and that's the way it went. So it's followed straight through just using flat brushes. Uh, it's quite fun, it's quite lovely, it's quite in one impressionist, isn't it? <laughs> 